Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you some facial tapping to really help increase collagen, help blood flow and also help with elastin. We're then going to be finishing off with the all important lymphatic drainage release. So we can also reduce and release the toxins within the facial and the neck area. So first things first, I'd like to sit down with my feet firmly on the ground and shoulders nice and relaxed. I am using a little bit of facial oil, although you don't have to, not when you're tapping, but I do like to use it particularly afterwards when I'm doing a lymphatic drainage release. Um, you don't want to be stretching and really kind of like pulling at the skin. So I'm just using an organic rosehip oil here. If you have a face cream, that's great. So just gently applying all along the facial area and also the neck. Now where our collarbone is here, just underneath, I'm just going to do a few gentle taps first there and then tapping above the collarbone and then I'm very gently working my way in an upwards motion along the neck towards the jawline and then I'm just working my way along here. Now this is a very gentle tap. The skin on the neck is very fine and delicate, so you just don't need to be too heavy handed, nice and gentle. Now, if you do have long nails, you can always just use your knuckles, but be mindful again to just work very, very gently and carefully. And then just tapping under the chin here with the back of the fingers and then all along the jawline towards the ears. Now we have plenty of lymph nodes here, so you may feel things moving along as you're tapping along here. You may want to swallow. And then a little bit of a tap by the chin here. We have a great acupressure point. Just gently tapping that and then working our way along the jawline, top of the jawline towards the ears. And then from the side of the mouth, again working outwards, lower part of the face. And then another acupressure point between the nose and the lips. And then working out. This really does help with glowing skin, as I said before, helping blood flow and circulation. And then just between the nose here, just, sorry, either side of the nose, we've got some points here, just give those a little extra tap, we get extra point and then under the jawline, sorry, under the cheekbone and this is towards the ears now. And then I'm going to use my ring finger because we have a lighter touch, I'm just going to tap between the eyes and I'm working my way down and then where the bone is under the eye. And then once we get to the point where the pupils come down, there's another acupressure point here. So you can give that a little extra tap. And then just tapping all the way along towards the temples. This will also help with if you have any puffiness or eye bags as well. And one last time. Again, where the pupils are, you just, from underneath, you can just give that a little extra tap. And then I'm going to very, very lightly, just gently tap under the eyebrows. And then above the eyes. And then from the forehead, working in an upwards motion. And then just tap between the eyebrows here. This is another acupressure point. So if you like, you can spend a bit more time on this. And then again, where the pupils of our eyes are, if you come up just above the eyebrows and give that another little extra tap. Again, working upwards, blood flow and circulation to the forehead area, helping with any of those fine lines and wrinkles. And then not forgetting to tap on top of the head. 
if you like you can tap hairline and all the head as well So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to interlock my fingers here on my forehead and very light and delicate, I'm just very gently gliding along now in an outwards motion. And this is a feather light touch. What we're doing now, after all that tapping and blood flow circulation, we're actually now moving toxins and waste within the lymph, which is very close to the surface of the skin. And then again with the ring finger under the eyebrow, and then with the ring finger along that bone under the eyes. And then just very gently and lightly working in an outwards motion. You can work now where the nose is either side, where that nostril either side towards the side of the face and the ears, lower part of the face. And then thumbs placed under the chin, fingers above, very lightly glide along the jawline. And then I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to make a V-shape, which is what I tend to always do, and place some fingers in front and some fingers behind the ears. And very gently, just glide down. Again, we have plenty of lymph nodes, so moving everything along here. And then down the big SCM muscle, here, just either side of the neck down to the collarbone. I always want to swallow at this point. And then from the chin all the way down where our collarbone is, almost our starting position if you like, we have those indentations. And if you just give those a few gentle presses, this so will release all the toxins and waste we've moved within this facial tapping and also then finishing off with our lymphatic drainage into the body ready for elimination. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will play another video in the corner. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing for more content and a thumbs up. And also maybe comment down below. Tell me where you're from and if there's any other facial massage techniques or lymphatic drainage facially you'd like me to share with you. That would be great. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. OK, bye.